Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am really good. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you and found some pretty cool things. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I've seen other people hauling these and I finally found some. So I picked up four. These are the Brookstone, the, this is the two pack and they're scissors and nail clipper set. Premium quality grooming tools. And it says black coated stainless steel. The glare is gonna be really bad and I apologize for that with the ring light. If you guys have picked these up and tried them, please let me know how they work. I remember last year, about this time, and I can't remember the brand that came out of the nail clippers. They ended up being just junk. So I'm really curious to give these a try to see how they work. And I've seen people hauling them in different style combinations as well. They One of them that I'm on the lookout for, it's just the clippers, but there's three different styles. There's the regular and then a bigger one that you would use maybe on your toenails. And then there's an angled clipper. So I'm still on the lookout for those. But I did pick up four of this same pack with the clippers and the scissors. And I wanted to see, the scissors are, I'm gonna go ahead and open it, see if I can show you. Cause one of these will be for us and the other ones are gonna get put away as Christmas, Christmas stocking stuffers. Let's see if I can get these out easily. I wanted to see if the um, scissors are curved and they are, there's a very slight curve. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you that very well, but they have a very slight, slight curve to the scissors. They seem sturdy. I don't know, I'm curious to give these a try. You'll probably see these in an upcoming finds and fails video. They seem well made. They, you know, they seem like a tight clip. So we're gonna go ahead and try these. I'll let hubby try them too and get his opinion of what he thinks of these. What's this show on the back? Just has all the info back there. So if you guys have tried these, please let me know. I hope they're not garbage because I bought four of them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stay with the um, the stuff in the like beauty, health and wellness section. I picked up one of each of these. These are by Beauty Guru and I really like this company a lot. They try to stay pretty clean. This is the Natural Under Eye Serum with C. Buckthorn. Buckthorn, is that what it is? Or Yeah, Buckthorn. I don't actually know what that is. I'll have to ask Allison about that. But this is the rollerball applicator and this is for under your eye. And what does it say here? It says traditionally known for, and then what is in here is road, rose hip, which is for skin brightening, camellia, which is an antioxidant, sea buckthorn, which is reviving, coffee, which is skin tightening. Lemon is the astringent. Frankincense astringent and coconut oil is moisturizing. And it does say 100% natural down here, which I love. And let me see if I can see. It is, it is made in China, but that's okay. So I picked up one of those and then I picked up one of also Beauty Guru, the Natural Facial Serum with Sandalwood. So this one is for under the eye, the green, and then the brown is for for um, your face, and it's a moisturizer, I'm assuming. And what is in here is jojoba, which is an emollient, almond, which is skin penetrating, sandalwood, anti-aging, chamomile, soothe skin, lavender is soothing, and coconut oil is moisturizing, also 100% natural. So I picked up one of each of these, but I'm not gonna use them for a while. If you guys watched my video recently, I am actually on a skincare journey, using a device on my face every evening and I don't want to put anything else on my face other than using that that device and the serum that came with it and my own moisturizer that I have been using now from Avon, the Nutura for a million years. That's the only thing I'm going to use while I'm while I'm testing this device to see how well it works. So these will be put aside until later to give them a try. If you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. I know a lot of you really like, I think, is there one for eyelashes maybe? And just different ones in this Beauty Guru line. So we're gonna try those, but just not right now. 
Then I found another thing of these drain sticks, the fresh and clean, it's 24 six sticks. This one is in the citrus scent. The last box I picked up is in the lemon. I just thought I'd pick up another box just to have on hand. If those ones seem to work well, then I'll have another box here. And I'm not sure what these actually smell like. And you can't really smell it through the box. So, and a lot of you were saying when I showed these in my last haul, the lemon ones, that apparently, apparently these release some type of enzyme that helps keep your drains clean and fresh scented. So I thought, why not give it another try? And apparently you guys are saying that it's, this is kind of a dupe for the as seen on TV version, which is pretty pricey. So grabbed them when we saw them because you know how it goes at the Dollar Tree. It's If you don't grab it when you see it, it's gone. And then we picked up a thing of the Essentials brand. It's the two pack of the dryer balls. I've never tried these before. I actually have two wool dryer balls, which I absolutely love. And yes, they do work. They help dry your clothes so much faster. So picked up a thing of these and I, I don't know what these are made out of, rubber or silicone. Does it say on the back? It says, clothing comes out soft and fluffy, softens fabrics without chemical fabric softeners. And th this is a Greenbrier product, of course. And we're just gonna go ahead and try it. It doesn't say what it is made out of, but I'm assuming it's some type of silicone. They're soft, if you can see that squishy. And they have the little things that stick up all over it. So I'm just gonna throw these in the dryer and, and see how these work, if they help, you know, along with my wool ones. But they do work, guys. I have I use my wool ones all the time and it really does help shorten your dry time. And then picked up one of these, a couple things from the toys. We picked up one of these, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it very well, but it has water in it and you push the little buttons and the little rings fly around and there are two, you're, you're definitely not gonna be able to see it in there, but there are two clear pegs that you try to get the rings on the pegs. I actually bought this to put in the littlest grand ladies, her stocking for Christmas. We have one of these already that I think we picked up last Christmas. Different style, but same thing really. But she loves playing with that thing. She pushes the buttons and she's trying to figure it out about how to get the little loops on the pegs. So I thought, how cute is that? We're just gonna go ahead and give her one of her own to take home. And they had all different colors of the actual thing and then different prints on the screen. So that's gonna be for her. We like playing with it too. We just sit and see who can get all the little loops on first. I picked up a couple more Matchbox style cars. These are by the I don't know if I'm going to be able to say that name right. Mayasto? Maisto brand. And picked up two. One is the Ford Bronco and one is, it looks like a Chevy Suburban to me or a Tahoe, but it looks more like a Suburban. And it does not say on the actual package the name of the vehicle, but I know that this one is a Ford Bronco because it says Ford on the back and Bronco right here on the front fender. And this one does have Chev Chevrolet on the back, but it doesn't say if it's a Suburban or a Tahoe. So picked up one of those to throw in the Toys for Tots bin. I'm working on my second bin now, so that makes me happy. So that's what that's gonna go for. They have all kind of Matchbox cars and Hot Wheels. And now this Maisto brand out right now, they have all of the track, the to put your race cars on. So good thing to think of if, you know, if you guys have grandchildren or nieces, nephews, whatever, husbands that like that type of thing, pick it up now. Picked up a thing of Butterfingers just to throw in the snack, the um, candy jar. Haven't had Butterfingers in a very long time and they looked really good. So grab one of those. And this is a six pack, the fun size, 3.9 ounces. Grabbed one of those. Maybe I'll put these in the kids' Halloween bags. I don't know yet, but they look good. I don't buy Butterfingers that often, but I was looking at the candy section to see what was different and that caught my eye. And then this really surprised me. I have not seen anybody haul this. This is by the Valetti's brand and this is the pizza sauce. 
I've never seen the pizza sauce before. I would have never thought that in this style of a container, it would have been pizza sauce, but it is. And it says original flavor. So if you guys have tried this, please let me know. We have been very happy with this brand, this Valetti's brand. So willing to give it a try. We just picked up one in case we don't like it. And it expires August of 23, Best Buy. I get corrected about that, but this does say expire. That's the expiration date. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try one day, make, make a homemade pizza and try this sauce on it. And I hope that this is as good as the rest. And this does say made in the USA. I did not realize that. Yum. So we're gonna try it. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. And then hubby saw these. This is the Food Life Balanced Fully Cooked Premium Chicken Salad. And it says you it's the USDA inspected on it. 90 calories per pouch, nine grams of protein, 2.6 ounces. He likes this type of pouch thing just for a quick lunch. You know, get a couple slices of bread. It's already made, you know, bingo, bango, you're done. And it says squeeze pouch gently to separate the chicken, tear or cut pouch at the notch to open. And then it says refrigerate unused portion in a separate container. Do not microwave the pouch. And the best buy on this is May, what does that say? May of 23, distributed by Americall Foods, made in the USA. So that is made in the USA as well. It does feel like there's stuff in there. I can feel little chicken chunks. So yeah, he, I think he picked up two of these just to give it a try. If you guys have tried this, please let me know your thoughts on it. And then they had some more Annie's products there, Certified Organic. And Organic is always non-GMO. And it says it's a 14.3 ounce non-BPA liner. And this is the tomato soup. We all love tomato soup. You know, we do, me and hubby, the grandkids all do. Grilled cheese, tomato soup, that, that time of the year is right around the corner. And I believe we have tried the Annie's brand of the tomato soup, and it is very good. So we just grabbed one just to have on the shelf downstairs. Fall's coming, guys, and I am so happy about that. I think I showed in one of my last hauls, I picked up a can of the Mandarin Orange Slices. I can't remember the brand, though. Was it Libby's, I believe? And they had these little cups this time. These are the Island Choice Mandarin Orange Cups in light syrup, and you get three cups, and it says three on-the-go fruit cups. I don't know if you can you see them in there. You get quite a few mandarin slices in each one of the little cups. These are great for in lunch boxes or throw in a book bag or a gym bag. But we've had these before many times and they're delicious. And all of the grandkids love mandarin oranges. So when I saw these, I just picked them up to have here for the kids to have. Or us. Yum. I love mandarin oranges. Let me see, guys. Is this the last thing, I believe? I saw this. I can't remember who I saw haul this. I think it was Shy town Girl. Beth, was it you? This is the Welch's Concord Grape. No artificial dyes. This is like the Jell-O, but Welch's brand. Gelatin. It makes six half-cup servings. I love Concord Grape. If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you guys know I love those high chews that are Concord Grape. When I buy jelly, it's Concord Grape Jelly. I absolutely love Concord Grape. So when I saw this, I thought that'll be fun to make when the grandkids are around. They all love Concord Grape. So I just grabbed one just to have here on the shelf. Let me see if I can find a Best Buy on this real quick. Best Buy is July of 24. So excellent shelf life on that. And I didn't see any other flavors, just this and this Welch's brand. So if you guys know if there are other flavors, please let me know. But Welch's is known for their Concord grape juice. So yeah, pick that up. So I think that's it, guys. That is all for this haul. I'm going to get off of here and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. I hope you guys are doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.